Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking all about pre-orders for GTA 6, when they're gonna be starting, what you need to know, how much they're going to cost, and pretty much everything in between. So we're gonna be getting into all of that news and info in this video. So leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe down below for more GTA 6 coverage just like this. But first off, here's a quick shout out and after that, we'll get into the video. Now today's shout out goes to a really awesome advent calendar for the 2024 Christmas season. The Crystals Advent Calendar features 24 unique and high quality crystals that are perfect for both collectors and beginners. It's super exciting to discover a new crystal every day up until Christmas, and each crystal comes with information with more about what it is. In addition, each calendar comes with a collector's pouch that allows you to store the crystals as you collect them. Most advent calendars out there are pretty boring and not super exciting to open, but on the other hand, the Crystals Advent Calendar gives you a unique and fun experience, and after you're done opening for all 24 days, you have a beautiful set of gemstones that you can keep, display around your home, or gift to friends. And speaking of gifting, this is an awesome gift to give to either family, friends, or especially loved ones, including children. Right now is the perfect time to pick up the Crystals Advent Calendar, and best of all, it's available on Amazon directly with Prime shipping. So click the link at the top of the video description down below to check out the Crystals Advent Calendar, get ahead of the Christmas rush, and also receive a beautiful Advent Calendar that you're going to love opening. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now there has been a lot of information thrown around recently about when GTA 6 pre-orders are going to begin, what options are gonna be offered, what consoles it's gonna be launching on, and most importantly, how much it's going to cost. So we're gonna be getting into all of that in this video. Let's first start off talking about when pre-orders are going to begin. Now this information has not been revealed officially so far by Rockstar Games, however, GTA 6 pre-orders are very likely going to start shortly after the release of Trailer 2. As a lot of you likely already know, Trailer 1 was released late last year in December, and we are expecting Trailer 2 to drop sometime either in November or December. Usually there is about a one year time span for Rockstar Games between the release of Trailer 1 and Trailer 2. If you're interested in a deep dive of what we're expecting in Trailer 2, I made a video a few days ago going over all of those rumors, so check that out after watching this video if you are interested in that. So pre-orders are likely going to start sometime later this year. My personal expectation is that they will start before the end of the year, but it is possible they could start sometime in early 2025. But my personal prediction is sometime this year before the end of December. Now GTA 6 will be launching on the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X at launch. PC players will likely have to wait about a year after the initial release to get the PC version, which is typical for a Rockstar Games release. Now for console players, you'll have the option of ordering two separate versions of GTA 6. You'll be able to choose between the digital version and the physical version. The physical version of course being the one with the disc, and the digital one being the one that you can just download straight to your console. Now there are positives and negatives for each. The big positive with the digital version is that you can begin playing GTA 6 right at launch at midnight, and you'll be able to preload the game ahead of time to get going right away with a small download when it releases. So if you're someone that wants to play the game right when it launches, the digital version is definitely the way to go. On the other hand, the physical version is very good for people that just want something physical that they can keep. Having a nice disc version of GTA 6 and also having that packaging is something that is definitely valuable to some people, including myself. So if you're someone that wants that physical version, something that you can keep, something tangible, it is definitely something to consider. And also more importantly, you'll be able to play the game at launch day. However, it will likely be later in the day whenever it's delivered to you. 
Both versions will be the same price. The price is expected to be 70 US dollars, which is $10 more than what GTA 5 was. However, this is in line with other AAA titles that are releasing today. There were a lot of rumors suggesting that the game could cost $100 or possibly even more. I personally haven't seen any substantial evidence of that so far, so my expectation is that it will be in line with other AAA titles, which will be 70 US dollars. Now, in addition, there will be the Special Edition and the Collector's Edition that will both be physical exclusives. So these are going to be special editions of GTA 6 that will contain additional goodies. The special edition will contain some physical goodies, maybe a printed map of GTA 6 and the state of Leonida, possibly a nice hat. And then the collector's edition will contain some extra goodies that are even more exclusive, maybe something along the lines of like a metal carrying case for your game, along with something along the lines of possibly a lockbox with the GTA 6 logo on it. These are going to be exclusive merchandise items that will not be available for purchase after the release. So if you're someone that really likes the GTA series and wants something physical and tangible to keep, it may be worth considering one of these additions. The special edition is likely going to retail for around $100 USD, possibly a little bit more, and then the collector's edition is likely going to be around $140, 150 somewhere around that ballpark. With both of these editions, you will be locked into the physical copy of GTA 6. So if you're someone that wants to play right away at release, you could order the physical edition and the digital edition, but at that point, you're just better off waiting for the physical edition to come with your special goodies and play it later on launch day. It's also worth noting that all versions of GTA 6 are very likely going to have pre-order bonuses that will be digital. So whether it's extra money for single player, extra money for online, some extra outfits, vehicles, small things along those lines that just give you a little bit of a bonus for pre-ordering. Now, it's also worth noting that if you're getting the digital version, you don't really need to pre-order super early. In theory, you can pre-order about a week before the game actually releases next year in 2025, and you'll be able to preload it and get it installed and running, just like everyone else did that pre-ordered much earlier. With the physical editions, especially if you're getting the special or collector's editions, it is advised to order nice and early so that stock can be put aside for you and you can get it right on launch day. So whatever version of GTA 6 you choose, there is a great option for everyone. And if I do say so myself, I think the $70 price tag is going to be easily justified, especially with all of the DLC content and expansions that Rockstar Games has been planning for the new version of GTA Online. But let me know in those comments down below what version of GTA 6 are you planning to pre-order? And also, are you planning to pre-order right away? Are you planning to pre-order later on, or are you going to wait for the reviews to come out and possibly buy it after the game actually releases? Let me know your plans in those comments down below, because I really want to hear from all of you. But if you enjoyed this video and you like seeing updated on latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, leave a like and subscribe down below for more GTA 6 coverage just like this, and I will see you in the next one.